Hello all, it is Nikki. Welcome back to the channel. I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm going on vacation in a week, so I wanted to make sure that I had some stuff to post while I'm on vacation just in case I can't post while I'm there. So I'm going to spend this afternoon, one of my two afternoons off this week, staging a book and kind of making you guys part of that. Today we are staging A Soul as Cold as Frost. I'm not sure if you can read the cover or if it's backwards, I can never tell, but it is the first in Jennifer Crop Crops? I don't know how to pronounce her name. The first in her Winter Souls series, which is a four book Christmas themed portal fantasy series that I am currently obsessed with. Also because it takes place like really close to where I live, which is wild. Stories never happen in Canada. <laughs> so it's very exciting when you open a book and it's like, oh, I know these names. I know these places. The series is Christmas themed. So there's lots that I can work with as far as staging goes. But my challenge is to make each book different when I stage them all because I do want to stage them all. But as you can see, they all have a very different kind of color scheme, different vibe. So my challenge to myself is to make sure that each book pick that I take is slightly different, which will be tricky to kind of sort out which stuff I want to use for which picture. For now though, I get to do the tricky but like labor intensive part of going down into my basement and just raiding all of my mom's decorating stuff to see which stuff I want to use for this picture. Let's do it. so much cute stuff in here. Silver bells and like this like furry yarn stuff, which I feel like will come in handy. Ooh, look at these. Guys, could I use buttons? I want to find a reason to use buttons. And this is the part where Nikki decides to take the entire bin upstairs instead of trying to pick things out. I'm realizing now that a Christmas themed series is not going to be difficult to stage because my mom does not mess around when it comes to Christmas. Case in point, amazing. She has a smaller one too. No way. I'm using both of these. I'm taking them both. Okay, so I just made a colossal mess in my living room. I don't even know how I'm gonna start cleaning that up. I ended up with a picture that I'm like reasonably happy with, but I think I've done pictures that I'm happier with for sure. I think it was almost a matter of just having too much stuff. Like there were so many options that it was really hard to pick and choose what to use and what to just leave, but I think it's a cute picture. I have three more books to use all this Christmas stuff. So, I mean, that's kind of good. I have lots of opportunity to use more stuff. I haven't read the second book yet. So while part of me is like, I should take the other pictures and stage them while I have all of that stuff out, like just exploded all over my living room. I like to get in as many tributes as I can to the book and the plot when I make these pictures. So like, for example, in this picture, I was able to get like the hot cocoa from the steam hollow that she drinks in the book or like the ornament that she carries around with her. They spent a ton of time in like forested pine woods. So I got those like little pine trees in. So it looks like you're looking down through the forest at the book. I'm only like a little bit into the second book. So I want to finish it before I try and take the pictures because I want to see how many little nods I can get in. So that'll be fun, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it because right now, the thought of getting all that stuff out again is like, for now, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit different, but hopefully a good different. And as always, do not forget to spend some time in the clouds today.